Okay, you'll need to download the program, the NASA Lite program. And this is where you'll go, right here. When you get there, you can go over the whole page, but you'll pick the software that's appropriate for you, for your computer. Download it, open it up, and we'll continue. This is Danny with Quad Lugs, and we're going to program the NASA M Light. So let's go ahead and plug it into a computer. And let's plug in the battery. So now we have the computer and the battery plugged in. The quad battery plugged in. Okay. Now we're going to turn on the transmitter. So this is the main overview of the NASA M light. And it's going to tell us a little bit more here once we go through everything. So let's the first is basic. And let's pick the frame that we have. And of course we have the quad. And we'll pick it. Now when you're in this program, everything if you'll notice has got a description and tells you what to do. So as you're going through it, it's real good to go ahead and read everything that's uh, you know involved. Really handy. We're going through a brief overview of it. It'll get you flying, but there's so much more to learn on this. And I would really recommend going through the manual or either going to DJI, and I'll list a link at the bottom or in the description of where that video is. And it's really, really good. It's from the manufacturer and it walks through most everything. So we've picked this and we're in good shape. Also, you'll see that it gives you the direction of the motors. A little bit later, we're going to check the direction of each motor, but for right now, make a note that this is motor number one, motor number two, motor number three, and motor number four. Motor number one is counterclockwise, two is clockwise, three is counter, four is clock. Make a note of that. A little bit later, we're going to check rotation. Here, we're going to the um, GPS puck that we installed. If you installed it just as per the video, the build video, uh, we can go ahead and put in some measurements here. Also, again, read through this and it will give you information on how to set this up. If you've installed the puck in a different location than what we show on the uh, build video. No problem doing that. Just go through, read through this, and it'll let you know what settings. The puck that we installed in the build video is right at the front of the uh, quad. So on the X axis, it's going to want to know where you installed it, how, what the distance is from the puck to the center of the controller and it wants this in centimeters from the center of the puck to the center of the controllers about 10 centimeters and it's in this direction and it's red so we're going to use a positive number The puck in the Y dimension is straight in line with the controller. Again, if you built it as per our build video, so there would be no measure, it'd be zero. Z, the height, it's a little bit, the puck is a little bit taller than the controller. So we're going to call that two and a half centimeters. And it's in the green, so that would be negative. 
So check out the instructions here and it'll walk you through, like I was saying, in case you've put the, you know, installed the puck in a different area than we did on our build. Here we're going to do a few things. So this is the mode switch, and if you remember this all the way up, and also it's indicating here it's in GPS. Here was Addy, and the middle was Addy or Attitude. Let's go ahead and get this set. So if we go all the way up and we're in the GPS mode. We just unplugged the battery and plugged it back in. The quad was telling us that it's been idle too long. Anyway, so I unplugged it, plugged it back in, we're good to go. So here at GPS, so we're going to adjust the slider and this is where we're gonna to go to do it. And let's back this down to eighteen hundred. And we'll give it a check mark and you'll see it went back. And let's go to this side and we're going to increase it. And there we are. We'll hit the check mark. Now we're at about 1850 and if you'll notice we're right in there on here. It's lit up. So let's put in Addy mode and you'll see there we'll adjust the slider again. We need to move it a little bit. So again You'll see now it split up. And let's give a check mark on that. So let's set the other Addy mode, switch all the way down. We're going to do the same thing. So we know we need to go to 1520. And there we go. Do the check mark, and you're in good shape. Now you're in attitude mode, attitude mode, that center stick or center switch all the way up. You're in GPS. Good shape. Now we're going to hit calibration and we're going to do start. And what we need to do here is move to all four corners of each stick. And that's telling the transmitter to the controller where it's at. Again, we're going to do the same thing to the other stick. We'll hit finish. And you'll see now that it's turned green and everything's working. And around to the left, and around to the right. Elevator down, elevator up, rudder to the left, rudder to the right, throttle. And you want these to be doing the same or acting the same. If they're not, then you may have to change the direction. So if you'll notice, we'll change it here. Now all of a sudden, you'll see what it's doing. It's been reversed. This is where we want to be though. Traditional, D-Bus, PPM, we're using traditional and we have it clicked here. And you'll see that it gives you wiring diagrams to tie it in and that's just the way we did when we were doing the build. Gains, for this particular build, now when you, if you do your own build, your own design, you may have to change these gains and you'll just have to see how it's flying. It may be, you know, uh, 
a radical a little bit or swaying one way to the other and you may want to adjust the gains further for your build but for this build we're going to go with about 80 percent And that's where we want to be. And then hit enter. We'll go back and just make sure. And it didn't take. <laughs> so let's do that again. And press enter and you'll see that it changes from red to black. And let's double check. It's entered in and it's held it. And that's all we're going to do. But again, you may want to adjust these gains for your craft to fly well if you're doing a different build. Again, go through the instructions here. It's really, really good. Okay, we've gone through there. Let's go to our advanced mode. When we have a fail safe, um, the battery gets too low and it tells that it wants to go land. Or if you lose connection with your transmitter or your transmitter battery goes down, um, it's going to want to know what to do. You can pick land and right there it's going to land. Or you can go, go to home and land. And it means it's going to go up to 20 meters fly back to where you took off and land. Now, key here is where you armed your quad. So, if you arm your quad uh, in an odd place, it's, wanna, it's gonna wanna go back there. So, you wanna make sure that where you wanna land, in case it's a fail safe, um, that that's where you plug in your quad and uh, that way you'll be going back to where you think you're going. But uh, again, go through the instructions and it'll go over all of that. But we'll go ahead and pick this. Intelligent control. This right here, read through it. It's pretty cool what it'll do. Uh, and I'm just gonna let you read through that. Again, let me unplug the battery and plug it back in um, so read through intelligent control and like I said there's tons of videos out there take a look at a few of them really neat what it'll do but it'll help you uh, learning how to fly and it'll also help you um, getting yourself back to home if you get uh, you know yourself out of orientation of uh, the quad which direction it's facing um, so it'll help you a lot there but to set this up we're going to reverse this channel it's best to have all the switches facing away from you and right now if we're facing away from us and this is a switch here that's going to do the intelligent control if you notice it's just the opposite. We want it to be an off when it's all the way back. So let's go ahead and reverse. And we have this, if you remember when we were setting up the transmitters on channel six. So let's go to channel six and we just reversed it. Let's back out. And you'll notice now that it is reversed. Okay, so we'll move forward. The gimbal, we're not going to use the gimbal on this. Um, this is, you want to go over um, these instructions also uh, to set your loss. We're not going to set the loss right now. It's better if you have a few flights on it uh, uh, or cycles on the battery. So go over the instructions and you can set this at a later date. But for right now, we're using a three cell. And we're going to set this at 11.4. And we'll 
hit enter. And our secondary will be at 10.8. So what we're doing here at this voltage, it's going to start flashing to you that um, you're getting low. You need to come back and land. When you get to this point, it's going to come back and land for you. And we have that on. You can choose to have this function off. But if you have some, you know, time frames of how long you're going to be flying it, it'd probably be better to have it on. If nothing else, to have some indication that uh, you're getting really low. But you can turn it off if you want. Let's go to the next. And let's check IMU. And we're good. So you make sure you want to do this. There's no upgrades at this time. It'll tell you if there is. And I think we've covered everything we need to cover. And this is just a recap of what we did. Quick glance, you know you're at 80% here. This is all looking good. There's your voltage. And that's our transmitter saying that it's idle too long. And that looks like it's, uh, you're done. This says, GPS location all at zero. Let's just double check that. And it is at zero. Let's go back and see what happened. If you remember, we wanted this at 10. negative two here. Let's hit enter. And once again, everything's black and that's probably what we didn't do before is hit enter. You want to make sure this goes to black. Let's go back on it. Let's go and double check. And there we are. So when we were in view, we caught that this was not held in. So double check. It's awesome to double check. Okay, everything else looks good. Once again, all good. Almost forgot, we need to set up fail-safe. So our quad is still plugged in, the transmitter is still on, the battery is still plugged in. And let's go to here, basic RC. And what we're going to do, we're going to set up fail-safe this way. Let's go on the mode switch all the way down on the third switch. And it's gonna be on attitude mode. Here we're going to move the slider. Now you can see it's in fail safe. So let's go ahead and check it off. So now, when we're in GPS all the way forward, middle is attitude, all the way down is fail safe. Let's go back. 
let's go into the program and let's go down to failsafe and you'll see it right there let's go to channel 7 we're going to turn Let's move. We hit the wrong one. Let's go to channel 7 and let's turn it on. And you're going to get a value. Let's press setup. And you're going to get a value 44%. It's picking that up automatically. We have it here in the mode switch down to. Uh, the lower part, the lower addy, and you'll see we set it on fail safe. So it's thinking it's at fail safe right now. So that's all we need to do. Let's back out. Let's go back into mode. And again, we're still in the same switch position. Let's adjust the slider back where it was. Back at 15. Let's hit the check mark. Let me unplug the battery and plug it back in. Once again, it's just saying that we've been idle too long. So we reset that. Let's go back here and check, and you'll see GPS here, middle switch, Addy, or at Attitude. Lower switch is now back to Attitude. So now we're back where it was. You want to make sure that you put it back where it was. Now Failsafe is established. So to test Failsafe, and this is very important, you need to test it. All the switches are forward, just like you would be flying in GPS mode, or any one of the modes. Now the only way we can test a failure of the signal are the transmitters to take a battery out. So let's do that, and when we do that, let's see what happens here. I'm getting ready to pull a battery out and there it went to fail safe so it's thinking that you lost signal or you lost battery power something went wrong with your transmitter and so it threw it into fail safe and it's going to do exactly what you asked it to do to come home let's put the battery back in We're going to turn the transmitter back on. Failsafe is now installed and tested. Also, while we're here, there was a mistake in setting up the GPS puck. I had said if you built your quad as per the build videos, that the puck was two centimeters higher than the controller. Actually, it's lower than the controller. So the Z-axis would be red. It'd be below the controller. So red here would be a positive number instead of the negative number. So let's change that. Let's go back and let's double check. Or you can actually go to view and see it right here. And there the change is made. Okay, we're done. Next we're going to calibrate the quad and that's going to be in a separate video. It's real easy to do but you need to do that. And install into props and we're ready to fly then. This is Danny with Quad Likes. See you again.